Hey guys, today I thought I'd share with you my very first baking tutorial featuring peanut butter cookies. <laughs> Let's begin! Step 1. Today I'm adding a crunchy peanut butter, but if you'd like, go ahead and use smooth. And I'm going to add it to some butter. Well, in this case I had leftover shortening and margarine. And we're going to cream those two butters together. Here we have some brown sugar and some white sugar about a third cup of each and we're gonna add it to our peanut butter mixture again we're gonna cream those two until it's nice and smooth Here we have some eggs, and in case you're wondering where I got my ceramic egg crate, I actually got it for three bucks at Winners, compared to the $12 one at Anthropology. Hashtag winning. <laughs> now we're gonna take one egg, and we're gonna add it to our peanut butter mixture. Along with the egg, we're also going to add in some vanilla. As you'll see in future videos, I love to put vanilla in anything and everything that I can. And here I'm trying to focus the spoon, but if you can't see, it's one tablespoon. And we're gonna add a vanilla. And now we have some baking powder. some baking soda and some salt now we're going to slowly add in our flour I like to fold it into my peanut butter mixture little by little just to make sure that the flour is well incorporated into the cookie dough because the last thing you want is to bite into a cookie full of powdery flour. Ugh, that's so gross. Now that your cookie dough is done, we're ready to line our cookie sheets. I like to add some parchment paper to my cookie sheets just because, I don't know, I think it's, it makes life a bit easier. Just, you know, in case the cookie burns on the tray, you don't have to worry about scrubbing it off or anything. And I'm also using a mini ice cream scoop. That's optional, just in case you want to, you know, you're like me and you want your cookies nice and even and I'd like to emphasize please put them two inches apart I obviously did not in this first batch and I regretted it <laughs> you'll see later why also as you can see instead of the distinct fork marks I'm actually using a meat tenderizer to mark my cookies I saw it on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute and different Instead of, you know, always worrying about whether or not I made a nice looking fork mark, I just have that little waffle design on it. Don't they look 
have like little peanut butter scoops of ice cream or something like that. <laughs> mm, peanut butter. Growing up, peanut butter cookies were a staple throughout my childhood. At a young age, I fell in love with the kitchen, and my fondest memories include helping my mom shape and form these nutty rounds of joy. But I gotta be honest, one of the best parts about baking with my mom was the warm, homey smell that came wafting from the oven just as the cookies were about done. Now that fall is here, Baking is a must in my books, especially on those dreary, chilly days. I don't know about you, but the smell of freshly baked cookies definitely lifts up my spirits. Now we're going to pop these into a 350 degree preheated oven, and we're going to set our timer to about 9 minutes. And voila! Your cookies are done. As you can see, the not two inch apart cookies turned out like this so please 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 two inches apart and these ones i actually did on purpose they made them into cute little peanut shaped cookies thumbs up if you think they're cute and you're ready to serve with a nice glass of cold milk or warm whichever your preference is let me know in the comments below what your favorite cookie is and also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more baking videos. Thanks for watching.